Hi, John Maxwell here, and welcome to Minute with Maxwell and this exciting influencer series in honor of the top leaders of my seven global organizations who have come together to form the John Maxwell Enterprise and are joining me in my most exciting and significant leadership endeavor yet. John Griffin leaned in and joined my team nine years ago. John is one of our best coaches and works with many CEOs in top companies across America. He has also served on many of our leadership teams as an advisor and decision maker within our organizations. John now serves as Vice President of Communication. John, you are a servant-based leader, and I'm honored to teach on your word today, which is self-worth. Now, when John picked this word to describe who he is and and what he does, he was talking about self-worth from two different perspectives. First, his own self-worth. Because John and I know something that we want to make sure every one of you on Minute with Maxwell knows today, that you will only accomplish in your life what your self-worth lets you accomplish. Let me give you an example. If from a 1 to a 10, I have low self-worth, let's say I'm just a, I don't know, I, I look at myself and I see myself as a, out of 10, a, a 3. That's, that's even quite a bit below average. Now, if that is how I see myself, that is how I will perform. You see, I see things not as they are. I see things as I am. So if I have a very low self-worth, then I'm not going to attempt to do anything of of great worth because I'll be intimidated or I'll feel that I'm not qualified or I'll feel that I have nothing to say. You see, the self-worth that I, as I see myself, so I see you. That totally affects my behavior. In fact, what did Jesus say? Jesus said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. In other words, he said, Your love for others is going to be dependent upon your ability to love yourself. You see, John knows that. And he realizes that he is a person of value, self-worth, adding value to other people. You see, John not only sees himself as a person of worth, he sees you as a person of worth. Now, how can he do that? Because it all begins with self-worth. If I feel good about myself, guess what? I'll feel good about you. If I'm comfortable with me, guess what? I'll be comfortable with you. If I believe in me, guess what? I'll believe in you. You see, as I see myself, I see you. And that's how John lives, and that's how he leads. He lives with a sense of self-worth, which means he's able to help others see themselves in the best possible light. And he leads that way, too. I love the statement that says, it's wonderful when the people believe in the leader, but it's even more wonderful when the leader believes in the people. John Griffin, you're a leader that believes in the people. Why? Because of your strong self-worth. Because you have it on the inside, you can pass it to others on the outside. And that's what makes you a valuable team member to our enterprise. Thanks, John, for being with us. And for you on Minute with Maxwell, thanks for being with me today. 